I don't know, but we're getting him in the bucket. What in the world is that? shrimp right here, two of them. Dude, I don't know if that thing's poisonous, so I don't want to get my hands too close to it, but... Oh my, little ghost shrimp, bro. That's lionfish candy right there. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be getting a bunch of seaweed, going through it, and seeing what we can find. As you guys know, we've done this in some videos, but we are now doing a full video on it, going through all the seaweed, like I told you guys before. Summer is approaching, meaning a whole bunch of seaweed is starting to come in short. So what we're gonna be doing today, we've got this bucket, we got this net. We're gonna be going through all the seaweed and seeing if we can find some cool species. In the seaweed, we can find seahorses, little crabs, a bunch of little pelagic fish, meaning like baby mahi, baby sword, Fill this up just so we have it ready when we do catch some cool stuff because I already know we're going to catch the cool stuff right now. This is definitely the most we've ever seen. Here we go. Big old scoop. And then what we're going to do is just pretty much just shake it all out and then watch what falls out of it. And I guarantee we see a whole bunch of little shrimp, a bunch of crabs. Maybe lucky enough to find a seahorse. Okay. Oh, dude. What is that? Bro, what, what is that? Oh what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Bro, what in the world is that, David? As soon as I put the seaweed out, dude, look at how camouflaged that is with the seaweed. What is that? I don't know, but we're getting him in the bucket. What in the world is that? Bro. Oh, oh, give me so <laughs> the first net, bro. That's so sick. Bro, look at that. You can't even tell that's a fish blending in with the seaweed. I thought it was a seahorse at first. I was literally like freaking out all right if you guys know what that is comment down below right now and let me know in the comments down below but for right now he's in the bucket he's all safe we're gonna keep going through the seaweed that is sick look at this little crab right here look at that bro look at that how sick is that we got a little crab right there he's going in the bucket it's in here look at this another little crab baby old crab right there so sick dude going in so that's two crabs so far oh look at all these crabs bro look at the shrimp look at the shrimp little baby shrimp right here two of them Oh my, little ghost shrimp, bro. That's lionfish candy right there. Oh my gosh. All right, get those guys. So that's two shrimp down. I did just see a crab. Look at this little crab right here. And it's almost crazy because they all camouflage and they all have the same color as the seaweed. They literally make themselves look like seaweed. Look at how, there's two of them. I didn't even see that guy. Look at that, dude. Two more little crabs going in. Bro, that fish is crazy looking. I have no clue what kind of fish that is, but we're gonna figure it out. Look at all these shrimp, dude. Oh my gosh, there's so much life in the sargasm. That's also another name for the seaweed, sargasm. Look at the size of this shrimp right there. That's the biggest one so far. Nice size shrimp right there. Dude, I don't know if that thing's poisonous, so I don't want to get my hands too close to it, but... <laughs> Bro, this is insane. I mean, all the shrimp, all the crabs, there's another little crab. This is all awesome food for our fish. So all these little invertebrates that we're catching out of the seaweed, we will feed to our fish and put it in our little saltwater bait tank. So it looks like we just got ghost shrimp remaining in the seaweed. So what we're gonna do is get all the ghost shrimp that we do see, put them in the bucket here, take the rest of the seaweed, put it in the water, and then we're gonna go back and net some more seaweed. Ooh, look at all that seaweed, dude. All right, there's gotta be something in there. That's exactly what I did last time, and I ended up catching that fish. So maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, I see stuff moving in there. Yeah, I do too, just gotta. Shake it off, you shake it off, half, half, you shake it off. Oh, look at all these shrimp. Look at all these little ghost shrimp. Heck yeah, baby. Let's go. Dude, this is so fun. And if any of you guys want to do this, you literally, if you're ever in South Florida, there's seaweed all over the place. So literally, you just go through it. Whether, oh, look at that big old crab right there. Look at that, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Big old crab right there. Whoa. So sick. That's the biggest one for sure today. But yeah, like I was saying, if you're ever in the South Florida area, and you want to do something similar to this where you just go through the seaweed, it is 100% possible. All you need is a net, a bucket, and then your hands to go through the seaweed. All right, I'm not seeing anything else in there, so we're gonna to toss that back in the water, make sure nothing gets trapped up here on land. And we're just gonna go through here, make sure there's nothing, oh, there's a little shrimp. Dude, that crab's sick, look at it. Look how cool he is. It's crazy, because like I said, everything camouflages himself to look like the seaweed, even the crab and the fish. That's so crazy. That's everything. Let's go see if we can get some more. This one. I'm gonna get so much. Dude, I wanna get like a little trigger fish or something. A lot of the times, we'll find trigger fish in here, so hopefully we're lucky enough to get one. They're really cool. we we'll do exactly... Oh, look at all these crabs. Look at... Boom. Another big old crab. And he's pinching me. 
Look at that. It's so hard to see. I mean, because look at this. You can almost never tell. You have to have a really good eye. Another little crab. This is going to be awesome because all these fit. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. He's got me. Another crab. How many crabs do we have down? If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below right now. How many crabs do you guys think we've got total? Kind of scared to see what's in here. I feel like we're going to see something cool. Oh, another little crab. Another little crab, dude. Look at this. <laughs> Two crabs down. This is awesome, bro. You don't even have to go to the bait store or anything to buy food. You literally just come here, go through the seaweed, and we got crabs for days. Oh. Boom. Watch all the little shrimp fall out of the seaweed. Look, look, there's one right there. There's one right there. So sick. So dope, dude. Oh, that's a lot of seaweed. That is a lot of seaweed. Look at that little crab. Look at him. Not so little. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh. oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> I mean, there's crabs everywhere. There's crabs literally everywhere. Oh my gosh. Bro. Bro. There's literally crabs everywhere. Look at this. It's nonstop. <laughs> we get jackpot with this one. Literally. Now it's hard because if there is a seahorse in here, he's probably most likely wrapped around the seaweed and you could probably almost never even tell the difference. So. We probably have netted a seahorse and we just didn't even realize it. Look at that guy. So cool. Boom. So I'm actually going to take you guys and put you underwater so you can kind of see what the seaweed looks from an underwater view. Here we go. Triggerfish, triggerfish, another crab. Oh my dude, look at all these crabs. I got three crabs in my hand and look at the color difference on that guy and this guy. So that's what they actually look like when they first enter the seaweed. After being in there for a while, they end up turning the color of the seaweed. Oh, watch this shrimp, he's going in. <laughs> he's got like little claws on the front of him. It's so sick. I'll put some more seaweed in there for all of them. Wow, it's literally been like 20 minutes of netting so far. We've gotten probably over 30 invertebrates in that bucket. We got a bunch of crab, bunch of shrimp, and even to top it off, we got this weird looking fish. I have no clue what kind of species that is, and it's actually really, really big for like us just dip netting it in seaweed. So yeah, we're gonna just continue netting, see if we run into anything cool. Hopefully we can run into a seahorse or something other than the crabs and shrimp. But like I said, we're just gonna keep netting because that's the only way we'll find out. All right, got another big old scoop here. This is so fun. I don't know why, but this is actually really addicting because, like I said, it's it's almost like a mystery box every time you get a net full because you never know what's going to be in here. That was actually a really good example, huh? Mystery box? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. More crabs. More shrimp, dude. It's going to be cool, though, because all these little crabs, all these little shrimp, they're obviously going to get bigger at some point, and we have that saltwater bait pen, so we're actually going to put all the seaweed, all the crabs, everything into that, and then eventually they'll grow over time, and then we'll feed them off to the bigger fish. Let's see if anything comes out here. Oh, it's a seahorse. No. Nah, I just oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> I popped it up in the video. I popped up a little video. <laughs> oh my dude, look what at the size of this shrimp. No, that's the biggest one. No that's way. That's the biggest one. That's dude. No. Look at that, that thing. Oh. oh my gosh, that's a jumbo ghost shrimp. Going in. Alright, that looks like it was everything in that scoop, so we're gonna just keep scooping away. My boots are hot, my boots are hot, my boots are hot. Oh, here? dude, there's a bunch of like spots and stuff over here, Nick. Really? Under yeah. the seaweed? Like right out to the side of it over oh, here. Oh, I see them, I see them. They're all under. You know what they're doing right now? Yeah. All those bait fish are actually waiting for like the shrimp and all the crabs to fall out of the seaweed and they're eating them. 
So it's literally like a whole little ecosystem right here. That's a big scoop. That's a big scoop, boys. That's a big scoop, and that's a big crab right there. Woo! We got a whole bunch of stuff in this one. And we got our little friend right here, too. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. You got your tennis ball? Now you want some shrimp, huh? That's a big old shrimp right there. Get him in the bucket. I did see a big old crab, too, when I was walking up. Oh, look at that. That's so sick. So that's actually a mangrove plant in its seed about to come out. That is really, really cool. We're gonna, these are very protected, so we're actually going to put that back and let them sprout and grow into a big old mangrove. Dude, I saw a monster crab in here. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey I guess he's our dog now. We'll name him Bingo. Bingo. Hey, Bingo. High five. That would be a really good dog name, actually. Oh, there he is. That's the crab I was looking for. There he is right there. Look at that. It's so cool, bro. They're, they're color changing crabs, literally. He's in the middle of changing from like brown to yellow to blend in with the seaweed. Dude, I love this dog. I don't even know whose dog this is, but he's awesome. He's just hanging with us. Literally, like, he wants to hang out with us and just like explore. Look at him. He's like, should I go? <laughs> what? A dog in the background. Dude, he's awesome. He's got a little smile on his face. He's just living life, literally. Hey, another. <laughs> yeah, Puppy is funny. He's just putting on a whole show for everyone, literally. He first threw his tennis ball in the water in front of us, so we had to get in and give it to him. Now he's got a little log, and he's chewing it up. Look at him. <laughs> so funny. If you guys think we should get a dog that we bring out and bring with us like with all our videos and kind of like explores with us, let me know in the comments down below because if you guys think we should, we'll get a cool breed, one that swims, one that like explores and is able to run around with us. So let me know in the comments down below if you think that's a good idea. No. Oh, look at that. It's part of our watermelon fish trap. Literally. <laughs> All right, but anyways, we got a whole bucket full of fish, whole bucket full of crabs and shrimp. Uh, not a whole bucket full of fish. We got one fish, but we do have a whole bucket full of crabs and shrimp and a bunch of seaweed. We are now going to get home, get these guys in our saltwater bait pen. Also, we're going to be doing some research on this fish that we have in this bucket before we even head home just to make sure we're able to take them. And then once we get the all clear for that, we'll see you guys at the house. We are back home. We got a bucket full of sargasm right here, also known as seaweed, and a whole bunch of shrimp crabs and we actually found out the species of this weird looking fish right here so I actually went on my phone and I typed in weird fish that hangs in seaweed Florida and it popped up a picture of exactly what we caught today I mean almost identical it is called a sargasm fish angler fish or frog fish they actually make great pets I also found this it says angler fish are easily kept in aquarium and some species do well in fairly small aquariums so we're actually going to be keeping this guy putting him in our bait tank to quarantine him and then figure out what we're gonna do with him. We probably will set up, if you guys wanna see a whole tank dedicated to like seaweed and fish that, you know, go with seaweed, we'll set up a whole aquarium just for that. So let me know in the comments down below or like this video. That pretty much is my only way of knowing that you guys wanna see that. So either like the video or comment down below. We also are not gonna be picking up this guy just because I also did read that they are poisonous. But we're gonna try to get our best view on him. I mean, look at how crazy looking that thing is, dude. Look at this, bro, so cool. And it's crazy because these things actually get up to 14 inches, it says. And he's probably about two inches right now. But imagine that, like this big, that would be insane. And then eventually it'll go into the pond. And I think that would be absolutely insane. So what we're gonna do is acclimate these guys. We're gonna add some water from the bait tank into the bucket, slowly acclimate them for about 30 minutes. Once they're done acclimating, we'll pick the camera back up. One eternity later. It is time to add our fish into the bait pen. Look at all these crabs in the seaweed. Oh my gosh. Crabs everywhere. All right, here they go. Dude, there's crabs all in the seaweed. Oh, look at all the crabs coming off. Bro, look at all these little crabs. There's so many and all these, we will be feeding them because probably in a month or so, they'll all be about that big and then we'll feed them off to our big old emperor snapper. I think I'm gonna grab a crab right now actually and do a quick little feeding to show you guys why we go out and get our fish these foods. All right, little crab about to go in the pond here. We're gonna see how the emperor snapper reacts to it. Oh, here it goes, here it goes. Ready? That is one reason we are catching these crabs. Oh my gosh, dude, there's so much life in my hand right now. That's crazy. That is crazy. Dude, 
Look how many crabs are in the bucket and shrimp. Oh my god. Is that crazy or what? And I'm literally just gonna dump everything else in now. Here we go. Oh, dude, we're gonna have bait for days. There goes our little angler fish. Everything is in the saltwater bait pen. Boom. All our invertebrates, all our fish are in the saltwater bait pen. We got crabs literally everywhere. We got our little angler frogfish right there. He looks insane. I'm definitely gonna be adding some more seaweed to this. I'll probably go out there tomorrow since there was so much and probably just scoop a whole bunch up and then bring it back to the saltwater bait pen. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what your favorite thing that we caught today was, whether it was the crabs, the little ghost shrimp, the little angler frogfish. That thing is absolutely insane looking, and we're definitely gonna be setting up a tank for him and for all the invertebrates and crabs and sargasm that we do catch and kind of make it like a seaweed aquarium. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!